Dish Nation. Hey guys, welcome back to Dish Nation. Now, I know some of you are going through mass singer withdrawal, and I have the antidote to your problems. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winner, Candy Burris. Shot through the heart, and you're to blame, darling. You give love a bad name. Welcome to Dish Nation. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. Of course. Well, you know, of course, you're a friend of our show. But I got to know, how did you keep it a secret this long? Because you filmed this months ago. I didn't tell people. I just was, like, ignoring people's texts if they tried to say anything to me about the show. I just did not... I didn't respond. I was like, I, I wanted it to be a secret, even though I was seeing people's posts and I know that people knew it was me. Overall, I was like, but they didn't know that I won. So I was just sitting there like, <laughs> And even when we were taping the reunion, I didn't say anything. Was that was that hard? Because I felt like in that, in that reunion, I mean, it was just like, people are swinging back and forth. And you, like, if I was you, I wanted to be like, bitch, I won the Masked Singer. <laughs> Talk to me about what it's like being the first female winner of the show. You're representing the ladies this time. Yes! Oh, man, I was so excited. Okay, so I did not realize at first that I would be the first woman, you know, because, like, it was like, uh, you know, when I was watching season one and season two, trying to figure things out, I, you know, I was like, okay, I should do this, I should do that. And then it hit me at a certain point. I was like, wait a minute. A woman has never won. A woman has never been past third place. Yeah, but also, like, let's talk, you beat out some iconic, late. I mean, you beat out Shaka Khan, you beat out Dionne Warwick. When I saw that it was Shaka Khan, I was like, oh, like, what am I gonna do? How am I supposed to perform if Shaka Khan is here? You know, because she's iconic. Dionne Warwick, Warwick, she's iconic. So I was just sitting there like, how can I even compare? I'm just thankful that I was able to, you know, make it to the end. What were some of the more fun people that you thought, uh, that they thought you were? Um, okay, it was hilarious when they thought I was a little Kim. Okay, I was like, now nah, I got swag, but I don't know if I got that much swag to be little Kim, okay? <laughs> that was funny. Um, no, I feel like it's kind of like Atlanta was representing on the show, because because we got you and we got Bow Wow, also, you know, two ATL staples. I was happy. I was happy that we got to the end. I was really hoping that it would be both of us at the top two spots, you know, because that would really be representing for Atlanta and So So Def Records, but... You know, we got there to the top. We got we got close. So what was it about this experience that kind of, I guess, reignited your fire and got you emotional? Doing this show, it just rebuilt my confidence all over again. You know, it just was like a boost of positive energy. Like the, the judges are so positive and they just uplift you with their feedback. So, so are we going to see, is there a solo endeavor coming your way? What? Yes. Okay. So, yeah. I I just dropped a new song. It's called Used to Love Me. I need you to put it on your playlist right now. Stream it. Done, right done. I've got, I got my phone right here, putting it on, putting it on, Thank putting you. it on. What, what do you have to say to all the haters? The more you talk, the more you're going to see me, okay? The more you're going to see me, and I will be embedded in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> she just dropped that mic. You just, boom, uh. out. Candy, congratulations. You were awesome. You were so awesome. Thank you so much. So kind of take me through your costume. Where did, why were you, th that idea, like where did the idea come from? Also, are you actually singing in there? How is it working? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so first of all, I was supposed to be a different costume in the beginning, but um, they called me like two weeks after we had picked the one I was supposed to be. And they were like, well, this costume actually just, became available, would you like to be this one? And I was like, yes, because <laughs> I just felt like an angel, a night angel, that just sounds like kick ass, you know? Like, yeah, angel is just everything. And then you're the night angel? Like, that's me, you know? So um, that's how the costume came about. But um, what was the other question? I'm sorry, my mind. Just like, I like, because some people are like, oh, they're not really singing in oh, there. That's okay, a track. Yeah. No, we are really singing. So here's the thing. I thought that too. When I saw season one and season two, I was like, they lip syncing. That's what I thought. 
<laughs> so I was like, in my mind, I was thinking, oh, yeah, it's going to be fine. You know, they're pre-taping or something like that. That's what I thought. But then when I got there and they were like, oh, no, you got to really be, you got to really sing. So I was a little nervous, obviously, because it's been a minute since I performed by myself. Okay. So I was just kind of like, oh, okay, I could do this. But then when I had to practice with that dang on costume on, I was about to pass out. That costume is hot. And then, you know how the face is on my costume is like the little mouth? Yeah, yeah, it looks, yes. It sounds like I'm singing inside of a shell. Like, <laughs> yeah. like my voice to me was kind of like echoing back to myself sometimes. I was like, oh my God, this is about to be a crash and burn. Somebody save me. But after I got used to it, it turned out really good. <laughs> I, I, you know, it, it's so funny because I've been seeing, Nini's been doing some press and she, she always talks about how it's her show, it's her show, it's her show. Yeah. And I saw her doing something yesterday and they asked her like, right, right, where are the housewives in a hierarchy? And she goes, I'm number one, of course. So she's number <laughs> one, then Portia, then you. Oh, okay. <laughs> the thing i keep trying to get her to understand all this time see she's so cared about number one and this this and that this show would not be hot without all of us this sh she cannot do it by herself so why she keep wanting to be one number one go be number one by yourself and see if it work out for you go ahead <laughs> <laughs> because at the end of the day it takes all of us for this show to work i mean and if you really look at the fans of the show she is not number one, two, or three, honey. Go look at our social media numbers. People ain't even checking for you like that. For real, for real. 